Hi, all, and welcome to this session on MySQL Group Replication in Windows Server. Group Replication mechanism is to replicate the data within the server and it is used to coordinate the servers themselves automatically when they are part of the same group. So the group can operate in a single primary mode where only one server accepts the objects at a time and remaining servers accept the RAID requests. So in advanced level, we can use the multi-primary mode where all the servers can accept the updates, that means read and write requests. So here I am going to set up the this uh, group replication with uh, MySQL3 instances in the same servers. So you can use the dedicated mission for the production setup. So I have installed three MySQL instances in my local with the different ports. So 3306 for first instance, 3307 for second instance, 3308 for third instance. So if you want to know how to install MySQL server and MySQL instances on same server, you just check out my previous videos and I have mentioned these, those links in a description. So let, let me go to the uh, agenda of this session. So first we need to update the my.inf file with unnecessary variables and after that we need to create and update the user then install the group replication plugin, then start the group replication and at last we can test the group replication then we'll end the session so then first we'll check out the uh, necessary variables so these are the variables need to uh, add it in my.inf file so this is uh, another set of variables which is used for uh, configure the group replication so first let me open my.inf file for my first instance So here is uh, my three MySQL instance data directory. The first one is this, uh, second one is this, third one is this. So I'm just entering to first instance and going to edit. Before going to edit, I'm going to take the, let me take the backup. So it was taken, then edit the file. So just copying uh, those variables which are all necessary to configure root replication. Just paste it in the middle of the uh, my data name. So this one uh, you have to mention the host name of the server, and it should be there in client client section. So I have already uh, mentioned the report host here, and uh, report name uh, host name I have mentioned that. So after that uh, I have already enabled login here. So here I'm going to comment it. Will log format also. So this is uh, related to uh, the logs, group replication logs and uh, group replication mode variables. The next uh, set of variables I'm going to copy and paste it in uh, my .inf file. So that's it. So once we have uh, configured these variables in my .inf file, then we need to restart the MySQL server. So let me go to the services. So this is MySQL first instance uh, server. So I'm going to restart it. So let me log into the MySQL server first. Uh, I'm using a power cell, so you can use a command prompt also. So if it is 3306 means we cannot we need not to mention the report number it will take default so once enter into the servers uh, we need to create the users so just copying this user creation script so then uh, the next uh, we need to update the user details to the server Then we need to install the plugin. Install plugin group replication, and uh, the plugin name is group underscore replication dot dll. So if it is a Linux means it will come uh, dot s4. So the function is if already exists, then uh, uh, this error will prompt. So if it is not there, then uh, plugin will install. Then after that, start the group replication. Yes. 
So after that, check whether uh, the server is there in online status or not. Yes, the server is in uh, online status. So next, I will repeat the same steps in uh, second server and third server. So just copying the same uh, variables and going to paste it in uh, the second server. So group duplication already it was enabled so we are just for uncommented and here the thing is we need to change it as a 24902 so because uh, this is a different second instance right so we are going to change it as a 902 and the, for third instance we have to make it as a 903 so once done it just need to restart the service So once service restarted, so let me log into the second server and create the user. Uh, the creation of the user completed then we need to update the user details to the server as this one also done then uh, if mysql group replication is there then no need to do this one if it is not there then we have to do this group replication dot dll file installation so as of now just check the plugins using slow plugins here the group replication plugin is not available so i'm just installing it yes then start the group replication in the second server so once service start uh, group replication started then we need to check the group replication numbers see 3306 was started earlier now 3307 has been started and it came to the online so now we have to repeat the same step in 3308 also so first let me go to the third server data directory so i'm just copying all the variables change here just three and ensure that uh, this ip address also it should be same as your uh, dedicated mission ip addresses so once change is done just restart the third server So let me log into the server. Nice clear action So it's logging the server, just uh, need to create the users. So let me copy from here.
see all servers came to the online so this is the group replication configuration so let me verify the uh, group replication whether the data is synchronizing between the servers or not so this is the third server so we cannot write the, uh, right we cannot write the uh, updates anything here for example if i am going to create a database from a third server it won't allow since it will be there in super read, super read only so as i told earlier so it is operating on a single primary mode so we have to first log into the first server then look at the process there is nothing there so i'm going to create a new database with test so before we're going to create uh, let me log into another server so this is the second server There also nothing there so again i'm going to log into the third server database having a uh, same default database uh, uh, has so i'm going to create a new database called uh, test database so once uh, the query executed uh, whether it was created in remaining two servers also or not we'll check it so here it was done then check it in uh, secondary server see here also it was showing and then coming to the server here also it was synchronizing the data so this is the uh, my uh, my SP group replication configuration on windows so i hope this session was useful i will uh, release the inodb cluster setup in upcoming videos thank you for watching